In this video, we are going to speak about how to connect uh, your KitchenAid range using the KitchenAid app. Now we need to know what are the requirements uh, before trying to get this appliance online. First, you will need a Wi-Fi router, which will support the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi band. We also recommend uh, that this router has to be located within 30 feet from the appliance. The next thing is that you will need a Wi-Fi uh, capable smart device, like an iPad, iPhone, or any Android or phones or tablets. Once you have this, the next thing that you will need to do is you will need to download the KitchenAid app on your smart mobile device from App Store or from Google Play Store and then create an account in it. Once these things are available with you, you are almost ready to get your appliance online. Now in this video, before going into the connectivity steps, I'm going to um, talk about some simple troubleshooting steps that you can try in case if there is any connectivity issue while trying to use the KitchenAid app. So the first uh, thing is that um, simple troubleshooting step. One is that you can try to power cycle the appliance by unplugging it or by turning the circuit breaker off for a minute. Another thing you can do is you can delete and reinstall the app before trying to connect again. The next thing is um, you can also try to reset the router uh, for one minute by unplugging it. So those are some of the troubleshooting that you can do. The next troubleshooting is to reset the range itself. So for that, you will have to use the control knob for the right oven. On this knob, you will see that there are two rings. This is called the outer ring. The outer ring is the one in which there is bake, broil, etc. And the other ring that we have here is, the, is called as the inner ring. On the inner ring, we have the temperature options. So this is the knob and the rings that we are going to use to reset the appliance. Now what to do to reset it? You have to turn the outer ring to Wi-Fi, turn the inner ring also to Wi-Fi. Now you will see the start button blinking. In order to reset it, you will need to press and hold the blinking start button for 15 seconds. So I'm doing that. Okay, so it is 15 seconds and when the appliance got reset, it produced a chiming sound, which is an indication that the appliance is completely reset. These are some of the troubleshooting steps that you can do in case if you are facing connectivity issues with the app. Now, once that is done, I'm going to turn the rings to the outer ring to the clean position and the inner ring to the off position, which is going to be the default state of the uh, rings on, on this knob. Now we have seen the troubleshooting steps. The next major phase of, of this video is how to connect the appliance using the KitchenAid app. For this video purpose, I'm using an iPhone and I've also got the KitchenAid app installed in it with an account created. Another thing that you will need to make sure is that whatever mobile device that you're trying to connect the appliance, that phone or iPad or tablet has to be connected to your home 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. So right now I am looking at my phone uh, Wi-Fi settings and I'm sure that it is right now connected to the 2.4 gigahertz network. In case if your phone gets connected to the 5 gigahertz or if it switches to the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi during the connection process, the, we will not be able to make the appliance online. So it is a very important information. Always make sure that your phone remains connected to the 2.4 network during the entire connection process. Since uh, the next step that we are going to do is we are going to use or open the KitchenAid app on my phone and I'm on the appliances page of the app screen. On that page, you will see the op plus option or add appliance. That is the option we will need to choose in order to start the connection process. So I'm going to tap on the plus option. Now we got another app screen where the app wants to know what kind of appliance we are trying to connect. So I'm going to tap on the range option. In the next app screen, it is giving us instructions on how to locate the QR code sticker on this appliance. So you can read through the instructions, understand it, and then look for the QR sticker on the appliance. For this range, you have to open the right oven door. I'm, going to, I'm doing that. And you can see the QR sticker 
right here. I found the QR code sticker. Now I have to go back to the app and tap on the scan code option. When I tapped on the scan code option, the camera is opened by the app and now I'm going to scan the QR code using the KitchenAid app. So it got scanned. In case if you are facing any difficulty scanning the QR sticker, you can also use the enter code manually option to manually type in the SAID and MAC ID present on the QR sticker. So in our case, we got it scanned. In the next app screen, we are, we are provided with an information about the Wi-Fi frequency requirement, which I already told you. We have to make sure that this phone is connected to the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network before proceeding further. So I'm sure this, is, this phone is connected to the correct network. Now I'm going to tap on the begin option. Now the next um, information that we need to provide is the Wi-Fi network. So on the Ender Wi-Fi credentials app screen, it will show you the Wi-Fi network to which this phone is connected and there is an option to enter the password. You need to make sure that you are entering the correct Wi-Fi password for the 2.4 network. The password is case sensitive. Do not try to use autofill or any copy paste option to put in the password. So now I'm going to manually type in the password. Once making sure that you have typed in the correct password, we can tap on the next option. In the next app screen, we are provided with a set of four instructions. Here, please make sure to read the instructions carefully and then try to perform on the appliance. So the first step here is to keep the rings in the clean and off position. So already we see that the outer ring is in the clean position and the inner ring in the off position. So the first instruction is already followed. Now the next step is to turn the rings to Wi-Fi position. Both the rings to Wi-Fi. Now we see the start button is blinking. So what we need to do next is based on the instruction, we need to quickly press and release it. And then wait for five seconds. After that, tap on the OK option. In the next few moments, the app will be giving a pop-up which says KitchenAid wants to join the oven network. So I got the pop-up on my app screen now. On that pop-up, we have to tap on the join option. If we have used the correct Wi-Fi password and the correct Wi-Fi network, in approximately two minutes, this appliance will be connected to the home Wi-Fi router and to the KitchenAid app. You can see that the orange light is flashing. Now it is trying to connect to the router. Now we see the solid white light, which indicates that the appliance is now successfully connected. We are going to give few more moments for the uh, app to finish the connection process to add the appliance into the KitchenAid app account. So now you will see that the lights are turned off, but that's normal. So finally, we are in the last app screen. Um, it says the appliance is successfully added. Congratulations. Now you have an option to name your appliance. You can give any name of your choice. So I'm just going to call it range. And then tap on the done option. Now on the app screen, on the appliances page of the app screen, you will be able to see that uh, the left oven and the right oven appearing in ready to cook, which indicates that this appliance is finally online in the app account. So by this, we have finished the connection process. We have successfully added the appliance into the KitchenAid app. Now, in the next part of the video, I'm going to talk about how to remote enable the appliance. Now on this app screen, you can see the remote enable icon. It appears like a square with, um, arrow in, uh, with a triangle inside it. Now it is appearing to be in gray color with a line through it, which indicates that the remote enable is currently turned off. So the next thing we need to know is how to enable remote on the appliance. 
So for that we have to go to the actual physical appliance. On the oven again we are going to use the control knob for the right oven. We always have to start from the clean and off position. So I am going to put the outer ring in the clean position and the inner ring in the off position. So it will make a turn off sound. Now I am going to turn and keep both the rings in the Wi-Fi position. In a few moments you will see the start button blinking. We are going to quickly press it and release it. When we do that in the next few moments if you look at the app you will see that the remote enable icon is in the on state. So you right now we see that the icon has the color red which indicates that the remote enable is now on. At this point your app is ready to remote control the appliance that means you will be able to start cycles from the app wherever you are you don't have to be near to the appliance. Now the next part of the video is I am going to show you how to start a simple cycle by just using the app. I am going to um, start the cycle on the right oven. So on the app I am going to tap on the image of the right oven. So now we see the app screen where it says the name of the oven, right oven and below that you will see the various cook functions that are available. So here I am going to start a bake function. So I am going to tap on bake. We can also set the temperature of our choice. So here it is going to be 350 degree. If you want to change it, you can change. You can put in a cook time if you wish to, but not necessary. So I am not going to put any cook time. And then if you scroll down, you will see that the start button is highlighted. When we tap on the start button, the cycle for bake is expected to start on the actual range. Let us try it. I am going to tap on the start button. So the oven made a noise and we see the red uh, light behind the knob. That means the cycle is now started on the appliance. And if you look at the app screen, it will say that the right oven bake 350 degree. That is the cycle we started and also it shows the uh, preheat temperature. Right now it is at 95 degree Fahrenheit, so it is in the preheat state. Now uh, if you want, if you do not want to do this cycle, you can even cancel the cycle by tapping on the end cycle option, which I am going to do now. So I tapped on the end cycle and the cycle was immediately cancelled in the appliance. We hope the information shared in this video is helpful to you in connecting your appliance. In case if you face any connectivity issues, uh, please call us on the number provided on the screen. Thank you.